What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a simple guide into getting the Izanagi's Burden Catalyst done as fast as possible possible but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so there is an argy's burden exotic sniper rifle uh, the catalyst for this thing was introduced with the heroic menagerie to get the catalyst for the is you have to have a complete chalice of opulence basically having everything unlocked and then you have to kill the last boss in the heroic menagerie this drops the catalyst for the is burden so what actually does this catalyst do and what change does it apply to the is burden while the horn shot, the shot which you charge all four shots into one by holding that reload button, it gives this shot 20% more damage against all enemies. And you can see the differences on screen now where I tested it on a lost sector boss. So once you actually get this catalyst to drop from the heroic menagerie, to actually be able to apply this to the Izanagi's burden, you have to get roughly 500 kills in PvE. Now it might not be exactly that much, but it's around that sum. I can confirm it's 100 kills within PvP though, and that would take you days in my opinion. But the strat I bring you today is by far the quickest way in the game. Now I know many people will be saying, why don't you just do it in Lost Sectors or load up the Escalation Protocol, or do it within the Leviathan? Well they all would work but they would take considerably more time because at the end of the day you need special ammo and it doesn't drop as much as you'd like and you'd spend most of your time hunting for that special ammo. So yeah, I wouldn't even bother with them strats, definitely use this one. Now make sure you have raid banners, these are obtained from Petru on a Dreaming City. It ain't a must, I mean they ain't a must but they will help you get this done way quicker. So once you have them, maybe 10 or 15, they definitely should be enough for you. You want to load up the last wish raid upon the dreaming city and make your way to the wall of wishes. You can follow this route on screen now if you don't know your way there. You are finally here. So once here, enter this code you see on screen now. Once you've entered that, just stand on that center pad. You will then be teleported to Shogu Chi, and this is where you get that work done. Here, if you don't have any special ammo, just drop a raid banner. 
But before doing that, if you have any armors with sniper rifle benefits on, such as sniper rifle reserve, sniper rifle scavenger, or special ammo finder, make sure you use as many as these as possible. These allow you to get easy special ammo without having to use a red banner every single run. So once you have that special ammo, just simply walk up to the door. The door will open and you'll be flooded by take and throw. These take and throw are your food, consume them all. Kill as many of these enemies as you can until you are either out of enemies or out of special ammo. Then just simply kill yourself by letting her song count down, the enemies kill you or jump off the map. Then simply rinse and repeat until you get this done. Now I managed to do the whole thing here, missing many shots and not really pushing it when trying to do it as fast as possible. And I got this done in about 45 minutes. So it shouldn't take you any longer than that in true reality. And that's it guys. This in my opinion is the fastest way to get the catalyst done for the Izanagi's Burden Exotic Sniper Rifle. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Guys, if this video helped you out, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.